What we're doing here is we're going to test fly our bats. Okay, I know. It's super scary. We unhook your feet? Alright, alright. So, what I'd like to do is to try to get them to hang off of my hand. And then I try to encourage them. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Look at that guy. Oh, heads up. He's coming back. So this guy is an excellent flyer, and I would feel okay about releasing him. Um, I'm going to get a little net. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you, you can do that if you want to. He might, I would prefer a net just because he might fly down. Oh, but Kelsey's got him. So that's exactly what I want to see. Erica, could you see that? Could you see that at all? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that guy looks great. Yeah. Yeah. And that was even better because it was sustained flight. Sustained. 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 Oh, sustained. sustained. Yes. Um, sure. Would you like to try this one? Okay. So the only thing you have to be careful of is, um, sometimes I'll wrap them in a towel and then try to dislodge them from the net. Um, just because their toes are so curved, you want to be careful to pull up and out instead of just grabbing him and pulling out so that you can unhook his toes. And he's on, on this side right here. We're rooting for you. Yeah, but it's better than getting bit on accident. Well, they've been here for more than 10 days, so if they had rabies, they'd probably... Right. Okay, so now we want to. Oh, we didn't even have to. We didn't even have to prompt him. He just went. No encouragement. So let's see if I can get him. John, um, you're vaccinated and you're tall, so I might have you try to prompt him. Here, you can have. You can have mine. You can find my hands. So if you can get him to fly back here, that's fine. Otherwise, um, if you can catch him, I think he's proven he didn't need much prompting as well. So that guy looks, yeah, he looked great as well. So the other thing about them is that they need to be able to drop a little bit in order to gain altitude. Yeah, he, I mean, I think two of these healthy bats had taken off. Uh, the bat's usually this enthusiastic. I'm just gonna hold. <laughs> Maybe he'll land on it. <laughs> Look at him go. I don't know. We'll see later. Are you gonna land? <laughs> it's okay. Just let him let him get some practice. This is great. Let me see. Oh, that's cool. I, I did help hold a towel up once, and a bat flew into it. Like, yeah. A bat flew into <laughs> it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, John, if you can just oh, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> ready. <laughs> He's totally ready. Well, this is not typical. Oh. <laughs> 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 what is it usually? Usually, well, usually I can't get them to get off of my glove very easily. Yeah. So sometimes it takes a couple of tries to. Oh, so these no yeah, these are great. Kind of stand here like a statue. Um, so how, what so was close. this guy's case? These are all healthy bats. They don't need to be here, but it was too cold to release them. Oh, okay. So there's a chance this week that it's going to be 46 degrees overnight on Thursday, and we want it to be at least in the 40s overnight when we release them. All right. So, um, Look at this guy. How did they get here? Were they, like, found? Well, they, they usually fall out of where they're roosting, or they 
I think, yeah, one, one of them, um, I think they were remodeling and they had uh, moved his roost. So, I mean, it was cold out. They didn't want to put him right outside, which is fine. John, you might have to gently net him. Very gently. <laughs> I said extreme. Wow, his. Okay, get the chair. <laughs> this guy's great. You got him? Oh, clo close the net. Close the net. There you go. Okay, let's get him back in his enclosure. That was amazing. <laughs>